For this November's energy, I want to bring forward a practice that is deeply restorative. We need it right now. There's so much going on in the world. There's so much going on in each of our personal lives, let alone our families, our communities and the global situation, that this month of November really calls for deep restoration. So we're going to work with a practice that helps your core energy, your radiant energy flow from your depths to keep you resilient, to keep you open to the possibility of being the joy in the world, in your world, in our world, being the peace in your world, in our world. Everything you are is energy. So your vibration that you are emitting every second of every day and night is part of creating the amazing reality that we live within. So this practice is to really work and nurture you. And I'm going to suggest you take anything between 10 minutes and an hour and a half to do this practice. Obviously for this video, I'm going to guide us through the sequence so that you can really learn it and have that as your base. But I encourage you to stop the video or once you've learned it, take extra time with each of the holds, especially if there's some that just lights you up, just brings you home really deeply to yourself. That's going to help you be that amazing radiant soul that we all need so deeply right now. All right, let's start. And I want you to be sitting or lying down for this. This is a brilliant one to do when you first wake up or when you go to bed, or maybe when you're kicking back, lying on the sofa and giving yourself a little bit of time and space. All right, so one hand on the lower belly and one hand on the forehead. And if you're lying down, then support your upper arm with some cushions. If you're sitting down, you could put your hand on the arm of a chair or on your knee. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna keep my elbow up, but I really encourage you to be relaxed in your physicality in every way you can be. Let's take a good breath here, inviting that nourishing flow of life to come into your body system. And releasing that flow of life back out into the world you live in. Invite the intention. Remember that your energy follows your thoughts. So invite the intention for each breath to nourish you, to bring you home, to help you align deeper and deeper with your magnificent essence. To help you move away from any narrative of anxiety, fear, any patterns of being small or playing small. But just to come home to yourself. Next, you're going to take your left hand and just pop all of your fingers together and place your fingertips in the very center of the sternum. Now in line with that hand, you're going to pop all of your other fingers together and you're going to place your fingers of your right hand right on the side seam. So if you're wearing a t-shirt or a pajama top right now, it'll be where that Side seam is in line with the center of the sternum. And just relax here. That's the end point of your spleen meridian. And when we work with this, we activate your radiant heart. We enhance, we support those pathways between your heart and your soul. Your beautiful physical body and you're experiencing here on earth 
right now. It's a beautiful hold for balancing emotion, releasing those deep tensions that we can shove down inside our hearts, inside our bodies, just to be able to navigate our busy days. But this hold helps nurture those emotions. Helps invite balance back into your body system. Remember your breath. Inviting it always to be nourishing. We can change hands here. So now popping the fingers of your right hand into the center of the sternum, taking the fingers of your left hand down to that side seam of your body. Bringing balance to the left and right sides of your body, of your brain. Bringing the integration of yin and yang. Helping move the wisdom, the compassion, the love at the very depth of you through every one of your cells have its energy carried in the beating of your heart and the movement of your blood. Remember to invite your body to totally relax. Let the bed or the sofa or the chair deeply support you. Next, we're going to move across the midline. So you're going to take your left hand and pop it into the arm crease where your right arm and your body meet. And your right hand, and you're going to pop it into the leg crease where your left leg and your body meet. And anywhere, you can always move up and down those areas and just feel where feels good to you to be able to tuck into those points. When you've found them, Applying a pressure that feels reassuring to you. Some days it might be deeper than others, but always ask the question, what is the reassuring contact for these points right now? These are points that help stabilize your energetic core, activate the extraordinary channels that carry that radiant energy through all you are. Remembering at any point to stop the videos that you can stay longer in these nourishing, deep, reconnective and rejuvenating points. Switching over, so now your right hand goes to the left arm crease and your left hand goes to the right leg crease. Find that contact again that feels reassuring. The pressure, your hands and arms can be resting against the rest of your body. And invite that breath to come in. 
creating the space in your body for your amazing energy systems to flow in exactly the way they wish to, which is in balance, in cohesion. Remembering that your energy is always in service to you becoming. You becoming more and more you in your fullness, your wholeness, and your beautiful truth. Breathing that breath of life into your body. And back out into this amazing cosmos, our home. We're going to move on to the last part of this sequence and you're going to place both of your hands in the lower section of your abdomen so that your fingers are down touching the top of the pubic bone. Now with your right hand, let's move all the way slowly up the midline of the body. We're working with that beautiful big yin meridian, the central meridian, all the way up through the throat, through the chin, the nose, and up to the bridge of the nose or the third eye. And from there, continue slowly to circle over the right eye, through the right temple, over the cheekbone, moving back towards the brow or bridge of the nose. Now continuing to make that luscious lemnus gate, that big figure eight as we go over the left eye, down through that left temple. And here you're gonna to continue to come down the side of the face, behind the earlobe, through the side of the throat. And you're gonna smooth your hand, the flat of your palm, the curl of your fingers, all the way down that left arm, going slowly, deliciously, sealing in that deep flow from your energetic core, through your radiant core, into the protective systems, the connective systems of your body. So you've come all the way back, so both of your hands are down towards the pubic bone again, so this time we take our left hand, move all the way up through that beautiful, deep, nurturing, central meridian, up through the chin, the nose, up to the third eye or the bridge of the nose where we begin to go over the right eye, down through the right temple, Big curve underneath that right eye, up to the center of the forehead again, over the left eye, down through that left temple, across 
across the left cheekbone back to the bridge of the nose, making a complete lemnus gait, continuing to move above the right eye, through the right temple, and slowly moving those fingers down in front of the ear, behind the earlobe, all the way down the side of the throat to the top of your right arm. And continuing to smooth, to activate those extraordinary channels of radiance, of hope, of trust. And turn both your hands are back on your lower abdomen. So let's take a breath here. If it feels good to you, then bring your hands up to your heart. Inviting that flow of your own powerful and compassionate energy through every part of your body every part of your aura and every part of our world. Okay, I'm so glad that we get to share that practice together. I really hope it nourishes you through November and I look forward to seeing you in the gathering ground, my membership space to deepen this practice and to understand more about how this phenomenal and big energy of November into December can help us as we continue to emerge together. Bye-bye. <laughs>